And I'm here to give you a simplified explanation of what 400 hertz power is. 400 hertz is the power used primarily on aircraft and most military applications. It's high power, low weight system that could make your life a lot easier. This representation is of a two pole motor. This is one pole, that's the second pole. If we turn this motor on at this point, this dot will start to rotate in the direction of the arrow. When the power gets to zero, it will be here, 180 degrees. And as it starts negative and comes back to zero again, it will finish the rotation. So in a 60 hertz system, it makes 60 revolutions in, in a second times 60 seconds in a minute will give you 3,600 RPM. On the 400 hertz system, it's very similar. We start here, the pulse uh, rotates the, the rotor of the motor, and as it makes one complete positive pulse, it will be halfway around, and as it goes through the negative cycle, it will finish the rotation and be uh, all the way, make a 360 degree turn. So that on a 400 hertz system, it makes 400 turns times 60 seconds in a minute, or 24,000 RPM. Now, both motors, if they were the same size, would have the same torque because of the surface area of the iron rotor. The faster speed would allow you to gear the high-speed motor down. Uh, it's actually seven times as fast as the 60 cycle, or just about seven times as fast as the 60 cycle, so that your horsepower to weight ratio is seven times lighter, or the horsepower is seven times greater for the same weight, plus the fact that most aircraft motors use special materials and insulation where you can run them a little bit harder. So uh, we find that in application, our power to weight ratios are 10 to 1. We can take and get 10 times the power for the same weight motor and have it very, very reliable. That's basically what 400 hertz is. This is our 400 hertz generator tester. We have a 400 hertz generator in the screen device and a 60 hertz motor made by Leeson Corporation. This Leeson motor is very strong, very reliable, but it is very heavy. It's 30 horsepower, and it weighs 375 pounds. This little motor is one that we make. It is also 30 horsepower, and it's just over 30 pounds, approximately 31 pounds. We use a AM2001 adapter and a spline coupler so we can drive many things with this. We have gearboxes that change the speed uh, from the 12,000 RPM of the rotor. In this case, it's 12,000 RPM down to whatever we require. Just as powerful, but quite a bit smaller and quite a bit lighter. This is a five horsepower motor that we use for several different applications. Uh, basically, it's small enough to fit inside of a machine like this grinder or a saw or a core drill or many other applications where you need a lot of power with very little weight. And we'll just put it on this little scale here and show you what it weighs. 
the inside of the five horsepower motor weighs just under five pounds. Our motors are induction motors and they have no brushes, but they turn the same speed the brush motors turn, or very close. So it's possible to put our motors in any of the brush motor tools made, from the very smallest to the very largest. To control these 400 hertz motors is quite simple. We can use a basic three-phase switch, which are available from several sources. We use small circuit breakers, which are available from several sources. We can make <coughs> boxes that have either a simple switch or the circuit breaker in them and have a load meter so you know where your load is. Or we can just make a simple box with a circuit breaker so uh, as you approach the limit of what your motor is capable of, the circuit breaker will uh, be ready to shut off in case of overloads. Or we have a more elaborate switch box that has a reversing switch and meters, power meters built right into it along with the on and off switch. So you know what your voltage is, you know what your current is, and uh, for running the motors at 100% power when you've got varying lengths of cord and various different motors, it's very handy to have the instruments. There are several ways to supply power for 400 Hertz tools. The most common for in-shop uh, power is a device like this, which is a motor generator. I'll start it so you can see how it operates. There's your output voltage, 200. There's your input current, which is quite low because there's no power draw on this unit right now. Very reliable. You can see the uh, power meter here. It reads 77,124 hours. That's how many hours this motor generator said it's been running. The second way to supply power for 400 hertz tools is an engine generator set. This is a small Bendix unit we use. It happens to be 25 kilowatts. It weighs 45 pounds and uh, is a very, very reliable unit. It's not unusual, 10,000 hours between main and side.